Good day, great people. Today we're working on Word 2019 in Practice, Chapter 2, Independent Project 2-4. Go ahead and click on your Start File. Once your file downloads, we're going to click it, open it up. Click on Enable Editing. The file will be renamed automatically. We're going to change the theme to Integral and the theme color to Red. So in order to change the theme, you go to the Design tab, you go to Themes, you scroll until you see the one that says Integral. Then you go to Colors, and you want to scroll until you see the one that says Red. Step 4, change the top, bottom, left, and right margins to 0 0.75. So we're going to go to the Layout tab, we're going to click on Margins, and I don't see one that's preset for 0 0.75 all the way around. So I'm going to select Custom Margins. I'm going to change the top to 0 0.75. The bottom. Left. And the right. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Select the entire document. In order to select the entire document, you hit Control A on the keyboard. And we're going to change the font size to 12. So we're going to go to the Home tab. And the size, font size box is here. We're going to change it to 12. Okay. We're going to format the title of the document. So select the title of the document and apply Heading 1 style. SPCCD, West Campus Emergency Procedures, is the name of the file. We're going to select it and choose the Heading 1 style in the Styles group on the Home tab. We're going to open the Font Dialog box. We're going to click on the Font Launcher. This is the Font Dialog box. We're going to apply All Caps. So select All Caps. And we're going to change the font size to 16. So instead of 12, we're going to up it to 16. Change the before paragraph spacing to 0. So go ahead and click OK. Where it says paragraph launcher, we're going to check that. Before paragraph spacing, we we'll change it to 0. Add a bottom border to the title using the borders drop down list. So this is the borders drop down. I'm going to add a bottom border. Number seven says apply and modify the heading to style and delete blank lines. So apply the heading to style to each of the bold section heading. So the bold section headings would be emergency telephone, phone, blue phone. So this is a heading two. We can make this go a little bit faster. We click on Format Painter. We double click on it and then we just highlight the headings that we would like. It automatically assigns the correct formatting. We're going to do the one for Fire, Earthquake, Bomb Threat. Tips for professors and staff, and then the last is response to students. I'm going to go, I'm going to click on Format Painter to turn it off. <clears throat> Select the first section heading, Emergency Telephones, Blue Phones. Change before paragraph space into 12. I click on the paragraph box. Before, we're going to change it to 12, and after spacing to 3. Click OK. We're going to apply small caps effects. So we're going to click on the font launcher and where it says small caps, change it to that. Click OK. We're going to update heading 2 style to match the selection. So in order to do that, we right click on heading 2. And then we select update heading 2 to match selection. All the section headings should have automatically updated. We're going to turn on show hide. To show all the paragraph marks, 
and we're going to delete all the blank lines in the document. So anytime you have just a paragraph mark and there's nothing there, you're going to delete the line. So this is a paragraph marker without any information. Delete it. Same thing here. Side note, you can only see this if you actually have show hide turned on. If you don't have it turned on, it's kind of like a shooting in the dark. Step 8 says select the bulleted list in the first section and change it to a numbered list. So this is the bulleted list that we're referring to. We're going to highlight it. We're going to change it from bulleted to numbered. Number 9 says apply numbering format and formatting changes and use the format painter. So apply numbering to the text below the section headings in the following sections. Assault, fight, or emotional disturbances. Power failure. Fire. Earthquake. And bomb threat. Select the numbered list in the bomb threat section. We still have it selected from the last time. Open the paragraph dialog box and click on the paragraph launcher. Paragraph dialog box opens. Set before and after paragraph spacing to 2. Deselect, don't add space. So if that's checked, make sure it is unchecked. And click OK. Use Format Painter to copy this number and format to each of the other numbered lists. So what we're going to do here is we're going to double click on Format Painter. And then we're going to go and highlight the other lists that we've already numbered. Reset each number list so it begins with the number 1. And how you do that is you right click the first item in each numbered list and select restart at 1 from the context menu. So we're going to right click. We're going to click first of all to turn off Format Painter. We're going to right click on the number 4. And we're going to select restart at 1. We're going to right click the number 9 under power failure. Restart at 1. Right click under fire. We start at 1, right click earth, the, the number 8 under Earthquake, and the same thing for Bomb Threat. Number 10 says customize a bulleted list and use the Format Painter. So select the text in the Accident or Medical Emergency section. Create a custom bulleted list and use a double right pointing triangle symbol which is the webdings character code 56. In order to do that we're going to click on the drop down arrow by the bullet. We're going to click on define new bullet. We're going to select symbol. We're going to change the font from symbol to web dings. Yes to web dings. Let's scroll down. Be careful not to select wing dings but you want web dings. And to put in the character code of the one you're looking for, you click character code button here. It should highlight. Click OK. Click OK again. Open the paragraph dialog box and confirm the left indent is 0 0.25. And it is. The hanging indent is 0 0.25. If not, go ahead and change it. They are correct. Set before and after paragraph spacing to 2. And deselect the don't add space between paragraphs of the same style checkbox. It's not checked, but in case it is, make sure it's unchecked. 
click OK. Use the Format Painter to apply this bullet list format to the following text in the following sections. So we're going to double click Format Painter because we're going to use this format. Tips to professors and staff. And response to students. Number 11 says change indent and paragraph spacing and apply a style. So select the text below emergency telephone location. We're going to deselect format painter. Set a 0 0.25 left indent. So we're going to click on the paragraph launcher button. Going to set the left indent to 0 0.25. Set the before and after paragraph space into two points. So before is at two. Going to change after to two. Make sure that don't add space between paragraphs of the same style is unchecked. We're going to apply the book title style. So go ahead and click OK. Apply, apply book title style to each of the telephone locations in the emergency telephone locations section. Select only the location, not the text in parentheses or following text. <clears throat> We're going to highlight stadium parking lot. We're going to select book title. Highlight Barton Hall. Book title. Highlight Barton Hall. Book title. I'm going to do this all the way until we get to the very last one. Library, Performing Arts, Math and Science, Cafeteria, and the Gymnasium. Step 12 says change left indent and paragraph spacing and set a tab stop with a dot leader. Select the text below emergency phone numbers heading. So we're going to scroll down. We're going to select this text here. Open the paragraph dialog box and set to 0 0.25. The left indent for this text, so 0 0.25. Set the before and after to 2. Make sure don't add space between paragraphs of the same style is unchecked. I'm going to open the tabs dialog box. So click down here where it says tabs. Set a right tab stop at 7. So we're going to select right. We're going to say 7. And we're going to use a dot leader for 2. We're going to click on set. Press tab before the phone number. Okay, so go ahead and click OK. So it says press tab before the phone number after the space on each of these lines. The phone number is aligned at the right margin with a dot leader between the text and the phone number. So I'm going to put my cursor right here before the 9 and after the space. I'm going to press tab. I'm going to put my cursor here right after the space. going to repeat that all the way down until I have all of the phone numbers to the right and the information separated to the left. Step 13 says apply the intense reference style to the paragraph headings in the accident or medical emergency section. So let's go to the accident or medical emergency section and life-threatening emergencies. I'm going to highlight that. And we're going to change it to intense reference. We're going to do the same thing for minor emergencies. Make sure to get the colon. Number 14 says use the replace feature to replace all instances. So make sure you're on the home tab. Go to replace in the editing section. What are we looking for? Phone 911. Replace with call 911. 
with bold font style. So we got to do more. Format. Font. Got to make it bold. Click OK. And replace all. Should have made a total of three replacements. So call 911 here is in bold now. Step 15. Insert a footer with document property fields and the current date that appears on every page. You're going to edit the footer on the first page and use the ruler to move the center tab stop to three and a half and the right tab stop to seven. So you have the option of clicking on the bottom of the page and your footer will open. <clears throat> This is the center tab stop. You're going to move it to 3.5. So you click and hold and drag it over to 3.5. And the right tab stop is here. If you hover over it, you'll see. You're going to click and hold and drag it over to 7. Insert the title document property field on the left. So here, document info. And we're looking for the title. We're going to press the right arrow key to deselect the document property field. We're going to press tab to the center tab stop and we're going to insert the company. So document info, document property, select company. The document property field at the center. We're going to use the right arrow on the keyboard again to deselect it. And we're going to press tab to get to the right side. And we're going to insert the date. So we're going to select date and time. And we're looking for the one that would be January 1, 2020. So today is December 9th, 2019. We're going to use that format. We want to make sure that it updates automatically. So make sure that box is checked. And click OK. So you want to select the whole entire font. I'm sorry, the whole entire footer. So can Control A on the keyboard. We're going to set the footer font to 10. Click on the Home tab. Change that to 10. Going to add a top border to the text in the footer using borders. So click on the borders and select Top Border. Step 16. We're going to go and close out of the header and footer. We're done with that. Step 16 says use shadow. I'm sorry. Use the borders and shadings dialog box to insert a page border on the entire document. Use shadow setting and solid line style. So we want to insert a page border. We have borders and shading. We're going to go to the page border. <clears throat> going to select shadow. And we're going to select a solid line. We're going to select the fifth color in the first row of themes color. Fifth color, one, two, three, four, five. Should be dark red accent one. And the width is going to be one point. Go ahead and click OK. And you should have a red shadow border around the whole entire document. We're going to center the entire document vertically. The hint says use page setup dialog box. So we're going to go to the page setup dialog box. Click on the layout tab. Click on the page setup dialog, I mean font launcher. Click on paper. layout and we're going to where it says page vertical alignment you're going to select center click OK step 18 says view the document in side to side page movement view click on the view tab 
go to the page movement, select side to side view, and then return to vertical view. We're going to save and close the document. Going to upload the file. Good job. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call.